If you are ingesting large amount of data for analysis or looking to simplify the development of event-driven applications, then you need to check out Cloud Pubsa. In the last couple episodes, we learned about Cloud PubSub through CatOut's asynchronous order processing website. We saw how PubSub helps manage the interactions between order, packaging, shipping, and notification services. In today's episode, let's build a Cloud PubSub system for CatOut. As seen in the last episode, for CatOut's application, the whole system will comprise of three topics corresponding to order, packaging, and shipping service for the sake of understanding. Let's only consider the order service sending messages to packaging and notification service and build that part of the system. Feel free to extend this further and build the whole flow. All right, so we will have a publisher application, order service, which sends a simple message, order received. This message gets sent to two subscribers, the packaging service and the notification service, which process the message. And then these services process and send the message forward to their topics and subscribers to complete the order flow and process the order fully. Okay, so now that we know what we are building, we are going to build this in four steps. Let's start with step one, where we will create the Cloud PubSub topic for the order service and the two subscriptions for packaging and notification service. If you are new to Google Cloud, create a free account by navigating to cloud.google.com free and following the instructions there. Then navigate to the console and create or use an existing project. Make note of the project ID. Now let's navigate to the Cloud PubSub section of the console and click on Create a Topic. Let's call this topic Order underscore Topic. Our order service, which is our publisher, will send messages to this topic. Then scroll down on the Create Topic and click on Create Subscription. Let's name the first subscription as Package underscore Sub. Leave the rest as default, which will create a pull subscription. We use the same procedure to create another subscription attached to the order topic called Notification Sub. At this point, your Cloud PubSub environment is ready with the order topic and the two subscriptions. Now we are on to step two, where we will create a service account that the applications use for authentication and set up Cloud IAM permissions. Navigate to Service Account section of the console and click Create Service Account. Enter a service account name such as PubSub System and click Create. For this example, the service account needs publishing and subscribing permissions. So we use the Select a Role dropdown to add the Cloud PubSub Publisher and Cloud PubSub Subscriber role. Click Continue and we do not need to grant user access to, their, to this service account. Then Create Key. This key is used by the client library to access the Cloud PubSub API. Select JSON and click Create. The key is sent to the Downloads folder. For the purpose of this demo, we can leave it there and rename the key file to key.json. Now the next step is to start the three independent applications. One publisher, which is our order service, and two subscribers, which are our packaging and notification service. For this step, we need the Google Cloud SDK installed. If you don't have it, today is the day to download it. If you're not already in the PubSub project on Google Cloud SDK, then set the project using gcloud config set project. List the topics to see the order topic we created from the console and list subscriptions to see the packaging and notification subscriptions. If you don't have Python, this would be a great point to install Python and set up virtual environment using the steps in the description below. Create a folder where you want to download the sample Python files for this demo. CD into it and download the code. Now open three new terminals, one for our order publisher and two for our subscribers. In these terminals, create a Python virtual environment and activate it. Upgrade the Google Cloud PubSub in all three terminals and associate the JSON key with the service account created earlier. Now, set up an environment variable with our current project ID. We use the gcloud command to determine currently selected project ID and set it as the project variable. Verify that the project variable is set to our current project ID. CD into the directory with sample code and get into our publisher file pub.py. Change the message from hello world to order received. 
Now we are ready to send messages. Let's start our packaging subscriber now, which is listening, and our order publisher. Our order application sent an order received message with a message ID while being unaware of any existing subscriptions. The packaging subscriber application receives the order received message and prints it and sends an acknowledgement to Cloud PubSub. PubSub receives this acknowledgement, which indicates that the message has been processed successfully and does not need to be resent to the packaging subscriber. Cloud PubSub then removes the message from that subscriber backlog. Now, let's start the notification subscriber. And as soon as it is started, it receives the message published by the order topic. The difference here is that this subscriber isn't started until after the publisher has sent the message to the topic and subscriptions. If the notification service was called directly from the order service, then the message would either have to wait a long time or time out since this service was not available. Cloud PubSub manages this process by effectively saving the message for the order notification subscription. Today we built a simple Cloud PubSub system and learned how it sends messages from a publisher to a subscriber. At this point, you should be able to build a simple application with Cloud PubSub. In the upcoming videos, we will cover more important details and choices you will need to make when building a real-world application. That's all for today on PubSub Made Easy. Join us next time to check out a deep dive into publishers. If you like this video and would like to see more such content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.